Einig, Tunubu Board State, a powerful lawyer, Drops Bonche, exposes how Einig manipulated the election results to favor APC. Hey guys, majority of Nigerians have continued to speak to speak out concerning the 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 just concluded presidential election that was conducted by the INEC chairman. They say they are not happy. They are not happy with the results. And for that, the the the, the INEC chairman rigged the election and all that. Nigerian's president and the vice president were chosen in the 2023 presidential election, which took place on February 25th, 2023. The All Progressive Congress candidate and the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinubu, won the contested election with 36.61% of the vote, or 8,774,726 votes total votes. Atiku Abubakar, a former vice president of the People's Democratic Party, and Peter Ubi, a former governor of Anambra State, we are the runners up. Both candidates immediately disputed the results. Obi claimed he won. According to the Labour Party, there was extensive election fraud in 2023 that reportedly substantially benefited the All Progressive Congress APC and its candidate Ashiwejibola Tinubu. According to a statement made by the APC. I beg your pardon. According to a statement made by Labour Party's National Secretary, Rubio Rice, on Friday, said the party stole the election. Labour Party Friday later, in response to President Buhari's earlier claim that the opposition party's defeat in the 2023 election was caused by their own arrogancy and their bad strategic choices. The Labour Party generally won the election, but it was gradually stolen by the APC, according to Obiora, who said that the president was, was entirely erroneous in his claims. He said that the 2023 presidential election was the most violent, violent Nigeria has had since 1999 due to vote thief, ballot sniffing, and a resort manipulation. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was accused of letting, letting the election to be manipulated by failing to follow the electoral regulations of 2022 and failing to publish results in real time as promised by the Labour Party. Obiaro said in his statement that Buari's assessment of the outcome of the aforementioned election was wrong inaccurate and it is not a true picture of what occurred during the election. There are um, a number of factors that contributed to the defeat of the opposition political parties in the 2023 election. The first is that the Independent National Electoral Commission or INEC evaluated election regulations by failing to provide voters with the promised real-time upload of the results from the voting place. The INEC facilitated a fraudulent election by doing this. Also, Bola Metunubu, the recently chosen leader of the APC, did not win the election because he said election, especially the presidential election, was twisted and corrupted beyond comprehension, the speaker said. He said the political parties did not lose the election due to uh, whatever President Mamadou Buhari have stated by collaborating with other governmental agencies. The APC basically rigged the election and took authority. Allow me to remind you, Mr. President, of the extent of violence, bylaw sniffing, bylaw snatching, and manipulations of results from the coalition centers using security forces, including the police, Nigerian army, and others, as well as talks to manipulate elections in favor of your party, the ruling party. 
Recently, we saw the Adamawa incident, a despicable or whatever. What transpired in Adamawa in Nigerians' elections on February 25th and March 18th was a very good example of what happened in all states. The issue of Adamawa attracted a lot of media attention since an INEC national commissioner who was a victim participated, which compared INEC to move swiftly from Lagos to rivers in the north and south of the country. Violence characterized that election everywhere. Many things, certain agents and supporters were denied access to the polling, polling places. Does the sum of those things indicate that the opposing party is arrogant? It reveals that the president, who promised Nigerians that he would host an election that was free and fair and credible, simply ignored his duty to provide the country's citizens the election they deserve. The general election of 2023 will be the worst for the country since the start of the, the current republic or since 1999. The general election of 2023 was the worst ever, according to the most of all outside observers and communities. Actually, the election brought Nigerian politics and elections back to the First and Second Republics when violence and bloodshed were accomplished. You are completely incorrect, Mr. President. I think he made the wrong choice. He was incorrect when he said that the opposition parties of our confidence contributed to their loss in the election. The Labour Party won the election despite the obvious electoral fraud committed by the by the APC. Mr. President is aware that APC did not win because the pool was rigged. Also, uh, Marco Omurobo reaction to the 2023 presidential election is said, INEC manipulated results to favor APC. Now it's unable, unable to reconcile the figures it, an, it announced. When you tell a lie, you need another lie to cover it up. It goes on and on until the truth is revealed. The criminal, Professor Mahmoud, should have known that there is no perfect crime. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for having you here. Bye for now.